interesting. Last time I met you, you said your dream was to be a young man with the knowledge you have today, and maybe it will be possible one day in a movie. Oh, Which well, well, for, of... sh- for sure. After seeing this movie and uh, the opening scene where uh, I was I'm in 1989, um, it's 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 quite amazing. So uh, maybe I have a chance to get back in that Ant-Man suit uh, yet. You know, we'll see. And if not, romancing the stone, huh? Maybe another version. Yes. And I saw yesterday that you, that your kids were at the press conference and were really excited. And they're going to watch it with you tonight. Yeah, right? they're going to see uh, this. The uh, at the uh, pre- premiere tonight will be the first time they've seen it. And I think the premiere is going to be in 3D, uh, Ant-Man, which is really special. So I'm going to kind of get to kind of watch them and see what they what they think. I think. Is it more nerve wracking thinking about what they're thinking? No, I, I know they're going to love it. They're going to love it. They wanted. They were so gung ho in the beginning uh, for me to do this picture. Uh, they're going to love this. Because you've done a lot of movies, they're not allowed to see because it's R-rated. So. I, that's right. I have a lot of movies in their in their young uh, ages which they were not allowed to see. However, I have reason to believe that through um, pay-per-view and other sources outside of the house, that they may have seen most of my R-rated movies. That's funny. So, do you, your your dad was a you grew up with a dad who was famous. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when you realized what he was doing for a living and what that all included? The whole era. Yeah, no, I remember going on um, the set of Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea. I remember the giant squid. Um, yeah, as as long as I could, my memory. Um, the one great thing about acting is that you can take your children to work, you know, and so uh, they get to understand what you're doing. Uh, they may look at you like uh, my son Dylan did. He said, well, I do that in the park every day. Bang, 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 Ooh, oh, you know, and, just, and I said, well, it is. It's make-believe. And a movie like Ant-Man, excuse me, which um, requires so much make-believe because of the green screen, I mean, there is, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. So you really have to learn how to practice um, make-believe. Yeah, you're yeah. good at that. You're yes, really you good do. at that. Thank you. <laughs> so are your kids, do they want to get into acting? Or would you encourage that? Um, I don't think I have much choice. Uh, Dylan, my, uh, our son, he's 14 now. He already has a strong passion. Karis is a very good dancer. Wants to model a little bit, but I'm sure she's right behind and wanted to be an actress. So you you have a